Uh, I'll address the issue in the oh. course of the Mimer. Hmm? It's Minna Shemaim, you guys raised this, so oh. we'll discuss it. Oh. Come up. No, it was <laughs> 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 You know, you know, he just answered it. it. He just answered it. He just answered it. Minish Shemayim. That was the answer. Oh. That was the answer. That's oh. it. Get out. You're, you're done. <laughs> I just okay. myself. Okay. Rabbi side, please. Okay, yeah. Uh, we'll deal with this. Uh, so first, I just before I forget, uh, the uh, oh, I want all the Divrei Torah to be the Rafua Sarab Yehuda ben Rivka Leia, uh, Betok Shar Chol Yisro. Uh, yeah, so uh, first of all, it's uh, it's... It's very special that we uh, we got together today, despite the uh, the snow, because that's that's the sort of Hanukkah 2020 to being misgaber over the snowflakes, right? 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 So, right? So, you know, it's uh, yeah, of course the uh, it's a little bit of a mavucha uh, and halacha, you know. Uh, you know, the halacha is ner ishu beisoy. Ner ishu beisoy, and of course, uh, you know, the question is, uh, you know, where, your your house for the day is where is that where you ate or where you slept, right? So Noah Baruch Shem's Yotzer both shitas, right? Right, uh, providing for us, you know, both the achila and you know, the place. I'd like to thank Donnie also. You know, it's it's very interesting that Chazal, uh, you know, they uh, they coined the halacha ner ishu beiso. And that's also according to many Rishonim. The uh, only a person who has a house is Chayv and Ner Hanukkah. It's not just Ner Shubesos in the family, but also, I mean, in fact, most, a lot of Rishonim say that the Birkas Haroe is for a guy who doesn't have a house, right? Mm-hmm. And, you know, and, uh, yeah, and it's, it's, the Hezbollah is very simple. You know, the Yavanim, you know, they broke in, right? They, uh, they, uh, they trespassed, you know, they, uh, you know, they broke into the uh, base of Mikdash <laughs> and they made a uh, Yud Gimel Pritzis, the uh, Chazal Tos. 13 breaches. And we're going to discuss that more in just a second. Right? They broke in. They broke into the house. You know, you know our house, you know, our national house, right? The house of Hashem. Right? Yaakov was, you know, credited that he was the first one to call it Ein Zekim Beis Kim. He was the first one to call it the bias, right? They broke into the bias, right? So when we deported them, and we uh, built, rebuilt the walls, and secured our borders, right? 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 So, uh, so Chazal wanted to emphasize that Nakuda, right? Ner Ishu Beso, you know, you have a bias, right? and, you, and you tell the snowflake, right? You have a house, you lock your door, right? That's why you need a border, right? That's why you need a wall, right? Right? Yeah, you know, because I, you know, it's, it's all about you know, you know, building the wall, reinstating the borders. Uh, of course, it, it, election integrity also, right, which we'll discuss later, right? And, 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 and you know, and that that's the message, right? The the message is snowflakes that you know, we have to uh, secure secure our borders. Bias, you know, right? The person doesn't have a bias, doesn't have near Hanukkah, just like if you don't have borders, you don't have a nation, right? Uh, <clears throat> so. Um, very apropos uh, that we get together, uh, Shabbos Hanukkah generally most years is Parshas Miketz, right? And it's a, uh, you know, very apropos that we uh, we get together, you know, uh, with this type of suda, you know, not blue milk but red meat, right? The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right? but uh, you know, it's it's, it's uh, you know the the rem is to our get together. I see there were seven good cows, right? Right. Yeah, Baruch Shem, Sheva Poros Tovus, you know, and that's uh, here we enjoy it all together, right? The uh, so now there's something that, the, <laughs> right? Right. so now you know, you know, take a look that the uh, there's a there's an interesting difference between the good ones and the bad ones, <coughs> right? So by the Sheva Poros, it's Vatirena Ba'ahu, they graze together, and by the by the uh, seven good stalks wheat. In a sheva konim olim bekane echad, sheva shem olim bekane echad. They all came out of the same stalk. Which you imagine what that looked like? What that looked like? Seven shibolim bekane echad, look like a menorah, mm. Mm. right? 
Whereas by the, uh, you know, by the bad ones, there's no vatirana ba'ochu, they're not bekana echot, it's a dover nifolis boinein, right? That the seven good ones have achdus between them, achdus, right? And, and, you know, and the, the bad ones uh, do not, and we're going to discuss that, you know, and this has to do, you know, with Hanukkah in general and, uh, and uh, Zos Hanukkah in particular, right? You know, Zos Hanukkah samizbeach, right? When the, when the Torah says that, Zos Hanukkah Samizbeach, right, it adds up, you know, it's Ma'achet, it adds up, it gives us Sacha Kolel, right? And then the question, you know, you know, why did the Torah do that? You know, I could have done the Cheshbin myself, right? And that's Zos Hanukkah Samizbeach, right? right? And so, uh, now, b- before we, you know, uh, we, uh, you know, delve into this further, here's a question, right? You know, we, uh, the whole thing was like uh, to be misgaber over the Yavonim, right? And to chase them out. Now, it happened to have been that the Yavonim, you know, defiled the base of Mikdash, and we had to reinaugurate it, right? But you would think that that's something, you know, that's, you know, that was, there, was, there was collateral damage of the hill of the base of Mikdash, right? And we had to reinaugurate it. But we see that we made that the ikr of the chag, Chanukah. Chanukah. Right? So, you know, so it's a prat. You know, they damage the base. You know, the whole thing should be about our nitzachon. But it's not. It's about the reinauguration of the base on Mikdash. Right? And, you know, and, and, you know, there's, you know, to understand why that's the mahus, you know, of this chag. The Chanukah samizbeach, right? You know, the Chanukah had happened, you know, and the... Uh, you know, and, and why that's, you know, that's, you know, brought out by the Nes Pach like, uh, you know, like the, the, like the Bryce says, my Hanukkah, like says Rashi, it's a Nes Kavua, right, then, you know, we have these eight days, because parallel to the eight days that the menorah burnt, right, if it was all about the Nitzachan, it should have been from, you know, any time before that, you know, this is afterwards, this is afterwards, right, this, like, became the whole Mahus of the thing, you know, <clears throat> so, you know, uh, we say every day in davening, you know, Mizmor Shir Hanukkah Sabais. You know, Dovid wanted to build the base of Mikdash, but, you know, he was pushed off, was pushed off to Shlomo, but he wanted so bad, so he already wrote ahead of time a, a shtickle, you know, a, a, a capital to Hillen, right, to say, you ever read that, you ever, th- read what it says there? You know, Arim Chashem Kiyosani, Ma Betz Dovid I was down, you brought me up, I was down, you brought me up, I was down, you brought me up, Let's read right by an inauguration, the Simcha of Hanukkah Sabais. No, you know, I was almost dead, and you know, breathe your shachas, you know, not <laughs> right? right? And of course, you know, there's a classical question, you know, uh, one day wasn't a nace, so why do we make sure some Nisim more eight days, right? You know, that, that never gets old, right? That, uh, that kasha, right? So, um, right? Right, to, to understand the Indian, you know, of, of Hanukkah Bechlau and Zos Hanukkah Bifrat, that uh, on this day, according to Beis Hillel, we light eight candles, and on Beis Shammai, you're lighting one candle, right? Because you're pochis v'olech, right? And we're going to understand that, you know, it's a, literally, like all machloks in Beis Shammai, Beis Hillel, Elu Velo Divel Kim Chaim, as we're going to explain. Elu Velo Divel Kim Chaim, the eight and the one, how they're all shaykh to each other, right? All right, so, you know, the, um, you know, it's not a, there's a, so we mentioned before, right, you know, the, um, you know, the, uh, you know, the, the Yvonim, right, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the ones who didn't want a wall, right, so they took down the wall in 13 places, right, so is, is that a coincidence there was 13? Something interesting happened a gener, a few, a couple of generations earlier. Right, Talmi Hamelech, right, he was from the other Greek empires, the Assyrian, there are Assyrian Greeks and there are the Egyptian Greeks. So a couple of generations earlier, right, so Talmi Hamelech called the Shivim Skenim, right, to translate the Torah from to Yavonis, the Torah into Yavonis, and they changed 13 things instead of Rachel Kim, El Kim Bar Rachel, all the different things, right, 13 things they changed for Talmi Hamelech, right, and then a couple of generations later, the Assyrian Greeks break in to the base of Mikdash in 13 places, right? Nippel mode, right? And 13 is Gemache Echad. And by no coincidence, you know, uh, there's Yud Gimel Ikorim, right? And, right, to, to understand all this, to, uh, right, right, to, uh, you know, 
you know, get to the point you know, of, uh, of what, what, what Hanukkah means, right? You have, you have uh, Hanukkah Sabayis, and it's, from, and it's from the same verb as Chinuch, as education. Ma'akasha, right? So, in a Hanukkah Sabayis, right? <coughs> right, so, you know, the, uh, you know, as Rashi says on the Pesach, Vayorek es Chanichav, Right, yeah. you know, he alerted Chanichov. So you know anything that you know, but 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 um, the osid lamoba. Right, when you get your de- when you begin, you know your destiny. That thing which you're destined for, the beginning of your destiny, shu osid lamoba. That's called chinuch. Right. So Chanukah Sabai is you know to give this house it you know the structure its destiny, right, of being a base okim. Right, and the same thing also in chinuch. Of, of, of a child, right? So you, you're giving him you're giving his destiny. Even when he gets old, he's not going to stray from it, right? But you know, but to put in the in the lotion of, of the makubalim, right? It means to put the ore into kalim. There's a destiny. There's a purpose. There's a mission, right? And that, that that's a concept, right? That Kodesh Baruch Hu wanted and envisioned, but right? then you then you put that concept and that mission inside the vehicle that's going to carry it out. So you put the Ora Torah into the Talmud. And that's what the Chobos HaTalmim in his monumental introduction says. That's the difference between the Chinuch and Limud. Limud is to get information. The Chinuch is mamish to internalize you know, you know, the, the, uh, the Or HaTorah and the mission of the Torah, to take it in, right? And just like the Chanukah Sabai, so put the Or of Akkadish Baruch Hu into the Mishkan and subsequently into the Beis HaMikdash, right? It's where or meets Kli, right? Where the concept meets its vehicle that's supposed to carry it out, you know, either to bring it to full revelation or bring it to full fruition. That's what the pool of Chinuch is, right? You know, that to put the or in the Kli, you know, and, and, the, and, and the or in the Kli, right, are, are uh, you know, the, sometimes we confuse them, right? The or is the essence, Right, the essence, the concept, right, the pure concept, the pure idea, the essence, right, and the kli is supposed to like absorb it, right, and and reveal it or carry it out, right. You know, in the adam, that's that's the neshama and the guf, that's the neshama and the guf, right. The neshama is the essence of a person, right, but the guf comes and 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 the guf, you know, is the kli that holds the neshama, and the neshama's mission, right, which is to be megalak vod shemayim, right. You know, and to bring the or of Akkadish Baruch Hu into the physical realm. So you know the, you know the the guf is the kli to carry out to contain the or of the neshama and to help the neshama fulfill its function, right? That's all right. But you know you have to make sure not to confuse the or with the kli. Now we have also in in, in pure ideas, there's the idea, right? And then there's the explanation of the idea, right? You know how, how you explain it. You know, the way you explain the idea. Right, there's, you know, in physics, E equals MC squared. Okay, you know, that, that's the idea. And, and how do you explain? How do you teach, you know, the, uh, the idea that, of matter and energy and, you know, and the, you know, how, you know, their functions of each other, right? There's the, there's the idea and then there's the Hesber. The Hesber is the Kli, right, to hold the idea, right? All right, so we have to make sure that the Hesber is faithful to the idea, and here's the tension, right? Without the Hezber, so the idea is like invisible, no one understands it, right? But if you're Mazbir wrong, what did you accomplish? It's all Sheker, it's all Dimyan, right? You didn't capture, right, the thing you're trying to be Mazbir, right? Right. So you have to, like, you know, make sure that the, the or, you know, the Kli is faithful to, you know, capture the or, and to also in the event that there's a mission to be fulfilled, that's the vehicle to bring the ore to its fruition, uh, like like kuf and neshama. Now that's the relationship between ore and kli, right? You know, so the uh, the, the Rebbeim has has a concept called shechina, and you know, and the mishkan is the kli to bring that fruition. Shanti besocha, right? It brings the concept of shechina, it captures it and brings it to fruition. All right. <coughs> You know, and that's the uh, that's the uh, you know that's the challenge, right? The or without a kli is like a neshama without a guf, right? But you have to make sure that the kli 
is a gilui of the ore. It's a way to get a, a grasp on it, like the Hezber gives you a grasp on the concept. You have to make sure that the kli doesn't overtake the ore, or the kli doesn't hide the ore. Like when you're being masbir wrong, where you give a you know, false narrative, uh, fake news, right? <laughs> that that you're, you're not really saying what happened, you're not capturing what really happened. Right? You know, you know that, that's, 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 the grand, that's the grand challenge, right? You know, the, uh, of, of, of the, uh, which is really the challenge of life, right? You know, to, to, to find the equilibrium Right between or and cle, right, <laughs> right, <laughs> right, and that's and, that, and that's chayim. That's and that's why we say lechayim. We have it in our glass. Chayim, chayim, chayim. Right. Where's the right. wine? You want to pass it over? Right. Neshama and guf. Shechina, you know, shechina. The sacrifice shel dira batachtonim. Right. Bring it, and which, in other words, is bringing the or to the choshech. The kli is dark, the ore is light, and you bring the ore to the choshech, and that's called tikkun. That's tikkun olam, right? <laughs> Did I say should, it right? Should, should we send this to uh, Kamala? Yeah, yeah. Teacher? Right. Right. <laughs> right. Putting, you know, put, putting the ore into Kalim, right? You know, the... Uh, right. So the... Um, all right, so Dover Nifla, you know, uh, you know that uh, in, uh, you know, you did with Gozer on Shabbos, Chodesh, and Mila. So now every, right, every Hanukkah has a Shabbos, because eight days, so there's always a Shabbos Hanukkah. Every Hanukkah has a Rosh Chodesh, Rosh Chodesh Tevis, right? And we're going to discuss that e- deeper in a second, right? Question, he guaranteed every, every Hanukkah will have a Mila, right? The answer is yes, because it's eight days. And you find an interesting thing throughout Chazal that they always view Shmona as like something Be'etzim Shaykh to Mila. That Don Melch, when he was Niskar Bamila, you know, when he was in, uh, you know, Nemerchot, you know, so he can't say, Lama Tzech al on the Mila Shnitna Bashmini. Or the Gemara says in Megil, Daf Yud Zayin, right, that you go through the structure of Shmona Esrei. Why is Rufua, right, the eighth brach of Shmona Esrei? Because the Mila, which is on the eighth day, needs refuah. Right? Mm-hmm. This I re- mm-hmm. want to uh, reaffirm that everything we say tonight is the refuah, as Harav Yehuda ben Rivkaleh. Right? Mm-hmm. Right? So the, you know, it's interesting that oh, the Chazal view that the eighth is something intrinsic to Mila. So double <laughs> nifle is boning. Right? Uh, <clears throat> right? So, you know, the, the idea is like this, right? The, um, right? The, um. right? You know, the uh, speaking of Noah, right? You see him, oh. Noah, right? Noah, yes. That's a, right? So now, right, so now the. Uh, right? So uh, Noah had two kids. You know, he had, he had, he had third, but the, uh, the Schwarz he got rid of. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> we never heard this story. I never, I never liked that kid. <laughs> 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 But the, you know, but the other ones, shame and the FS. Yeah. Right? Give her the right? sponsor. All right. All right. Anyway. So they, they you know, my, you know that, so they, they honored their father, right? And, you know, and that, so then Sadoch so says, Yaft Elokim Li Yefes, Vishkem Boy Le Shame. Right? So Chazal say, Yafuso Shal Yefes Yebo Le Shame. And from there we learn how Lachadi could be metargan. You actually could translate theoretically the Torah into Yavonis. Not you could, you know. But but it but it's called Vishkombole Shem. You know, the Yaut the Yofi of Yefes, it's only good if it sticks to all a shame. If it sticks to all a shame. Because it, that means like this, that the Yofi, that's like that's like the wrapping, that's the Kli. Right? See how right? But it's got to stick to the shame, and the shame kaidu is the essence, mm. right? Right. But so, so the yofi is only good if it's if it's faithful and it sticks with the primus. So yeah. So so hitiru lichtov storm biyavonis. Shemidam Leo says 
right? Because of Yato Kim Yes Vishkol Hashem, right? But you know, but that's only if it's Vishkom Bol Hashem, right? Not when you take it out, right? So now, what happens when you disconnect the cleave from the ore, right? Right, when the kalim are connected to the ore, so the ore, you know, spreads, it branches out, right? So you could have seven kalim holding, you know, each one of different colors, right? And as far as I'm talking about this, I'll pick up all the, the atzmus and the kalim, the etzim adover and the kalim, right? Of course, mitzat atzmus, kol my david rachmano letav avid, right? The difference is in the kalim, right? Everything is, of course, the primus is letav avid. But there's a you know, yeah, but it's like the light source shines and through seven different kalim. One kli is red, one kli is you know blue, one you know, you know, you know it really says white, red, and green. Besor chesed gevura and tiferes, you know, chesed din rachamim, right? But it's all one or, and the shinu is only mitzad the kalim, but it's not a stira because in primis it's all the same or, but but that's you know when the oros are connected to the kalim. Right, that's inside, and that's no, he's no, he's right. No, and we're gonna get that. It's Beishamay and Beisil. You know, it's all the Oratar and the Kalim of the Kalim of the Hezber of Hilo, the Kalim of the Hezber of Shamai, but it's all the same Divrei Torah, right? But when you take the Or away from the Kalim, the Kalim are the Pirud, right? The Achdus between the Kalim that each one has its own shape and its own color. Is that's one or shining through different kalim, giving rise to all the different possibilities that are nichlal in the or, that are nichlal in the or, right? Because you, know, you know the white light, you know pure white light contains all the colors, and the different kalim bring out, right? And then the kalim are ba'achdus also, because they're all connected to the same light, and each one does its own unique function, right? Because I'll say ketsein shem partsufem shavim kach ein deoseim shavim. Right, but it's all they're all, but it's each one is a different kli that brings out a different aspect of the or brings out in a different shape and a different color. But all those kalim are really bepinimius from one shirish, right? From one shirish, right? Yeah, that's when the kalim are connected to the or, right? When the kalim are separated from the or, they're all bepirud. They're all bepirud, right? And that's and this is the side. Chazal say two separate things that seemingly are contradictory. But it's it's really now it's understood that you know, they, they weren't say themselves whatsoever. They say machlokish l'shem shemayim sofalis kaim. That that the machlokish is sofalis kaim. You think that's terrible? The machlokish should be resolved. If it's l'shem shemayim, it's sofalis kaim. There'll be a kiyum, but it'll never be resolved, right? And but there's also knesia shi l'shem shemayim sofalis kaim, a convergence, an achdus. If it's l'shem shemayim, it's sofalis kaim, and if not, ain't sofalis kaim. Right? Because the shot is like this, right? When you're when the kalim are connected to the or, right? So you know the so the or will hold them ba'achdus, but also that's what the Russian Russian wants the different kalim, right? So as to bring out the to show the godless that so much so many protim were nichlal in the or, and the kalim bring out the protim, the kalim bring out the protim, right? And so that's the machlos sofalis kaim because you want to show that the or was koilo this and koilo that. That's the godless, that one terror could be called so many different things, right? And, but it's also, that's, but it's also Knesia Sofalis Kaim. The Knesia, the Shem Shemaim, will we'll hold it all together, that it won't be pure because they're all different Kalim that are all Yonik from the same ore, right? right? But if it's Eina the Shem Shemaim, Eina Sofalis Kaim, because, you know, the Kalim are, they're not Ba'achdus, so that Machlokas is Eina Sofalis Kaim, one side will be Goiver and cancel out the other, right? And of course, achdus there won't be. So you know the knesia shem l'shem shemaim sofalis right, and that's shem shemaim. That's shem. That's all a shem. Yafusa shefes should be all a shem, and that's when the yofi right, the chitzonius, the kli is together with the or, right, right, and everything is baachdus, and the kli shows what's all the different you know protein, the infinite protein or nichlal in the or. So it's a godless, right, to show that this one ore is kailal, all so many different protein, right? So it's sofali skayim, right? But the thing is like this, by Talmi Amelech, right, he didn't want, you know, he didn't want to go to yeshiva and learn Torah. He wanted the Torah to go out. He took the Torah away from its shorish, right? 
So to minimize damage, so you take the Torah out of its shirish, right? And then it'll be misunderstood because it's being taken out of context, right? Out of context, right? Right? So they had to change 13 things, 13 gematria echod, because there's no achdus anymore. There's no achdus anymore, right? You know, because, you know, it was taken away from its shirish. You know, now now Torah is just stama chachma. It was put into, you know, Yavonis and also it made like any one of other Chachmas Yavon. It's not connected to the unifying light. So it lost 13 things. It changed 13 things. Gemacha Echad, right? But connected that, the, the defiling of the borders, right? That what was, you know, what was Bifnim went Lachutz. So that's what empowered two generations later what was Bachutz to go Bifnim and they broke in in 13 places. Connected the 13 changes that they made for Tami Melech, right? You know, that they, they, they broke away from the Kli, the Kli broke away from the Or, right? And it lost its Achdus, right? <coughs> so they were also able to break in from 13 places, right? 13 places. Gemacha right? Echo, there is no Achdus, right? right? In, the, in the, oh, so, so that we take like, uh, you know, uh, branches, and once you cover the root, right? Like, so let's say, you know, you know, you see the fingers without the hand. All right, so someone else could also put his finger here and all that. And you'll think it's all, you won't know which ones are the real fingers of the hand. They all look the same if the shirish is hidden, right? When the shirish is revealed, you say, these five fingers are all part of one hand, and these other fingers, you know, they're, they're, not, they're not part of it, right? When, 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 when the shirish is hidden, when the shirish is hidden, Right, so uh, you know, yeah, everything is fair game. You don't know the difference between one opinion and another opinion. You know, so all look equally plausible, right? It's only with the gilui of the shor say these things, you know, stim with reality or are connected with what is, and the rest is sheker. But you have to see the shorish to see that that these things connect, are connected to reality. These things are just, you know, fake news, right? <laughs> right? Narrative, narrative. Right? 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 Uh, they all got them in the mail, but whatever. <laughs> but yeah, you know, still uh, got them online. But yeah, law, you know, law degrees also. Or what? Law degrees too. Or? <laughs> right, everything. Right, kids are yeah. right. <laughs> yes, yeah, <see> that feeling. Don't judge the ripper. Not even here. Right. The whole thing was a marshal for Yoni's entire life. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right. There's no charge to it. No charge. Right. Now, how much do you have? Right, why how should you have They were seemingly enlightened people. They had, you know, they had, they, they, they had mathematics, they had arts, they had astronomy, they had other sciences. Because the shot is like this, all these things that they came up with, they're all Kalim. They're all just Kalim. Right? Logic is not synonymous with MS. It's a Kli. Right? Reality might be bigger than logic. We know reality is bigger than logic, right? Let me buy a Kus, right? So they thought that their logic, you know, they had Kashas and Hashem. Right, but, but, but even now we're finding even physics, quantum physics is not very logical, so we keep on like, you know, trying to you know, do somersaults, to be miyashin, right? You know, every, you know, the, the Yavonim gave Kalim, they gave Kalim, you know, but the problem is that they used the Kalim to hide the ore, to hide the ore, right? You know, it's like, it's like one of these five towns uh, smorgasbords, right? Right? Right, you know, we, which which just this place is mamish, you know, the the hefech, right? I will see over here, right? And you go in there, you know, especially if you're of limited time because you got there late, uh, and you have to you have to focus, right? Where's you know, the meat? Where's the there, there, where's the meat? Where, yeah. Find a carving station. I mean, yeah, scope, it yeah, out, scope it out. Yeah, scope it out. Yeah, you know, because you know they they have you know they That's yeah you have also the sprouts well, and these cakes with these disgusting. creams no good, and no. you all right, these syrups and you know, the, right? And 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 if and if we let these globalists, you know, you know, you know, you know, 
they're gonna make that make us eat this stuff with our masks on. Right? right? It'll be planet of the Fagalach if we don't do something quick. <laughs> Get your hand off me, you damn dirty <laughs> <laughs> oh, you must be <laughs> <laughs> right. you got to be focused on the etzem, right? Like meat that has atzomas, right? You have to be focused on... you you got to be focused on, you know... You know the essence. You know the you know, you know the, the mahus. The meat right? and potatoes. The meat and potatoes. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Right. The meat and potatoes. Right. <laughs> right. Right. You know the Yavonim gave Kalim. They they were focused on the yofi, which is just the external, and that's just the kli. Sounds, you know, sounds. Right. But they wanted the kli to be gaver over oh. the or. What? Salads yeah. is the yofi is the you know just the decoration. No, it's, no, not. it's not. The sounds yofi. terrible. He's saying, but that's just, it looks pretty. No, that's not what he's saying. Is that what he's saying? No, well, we got it. Yeah, right. See? Yeah. Oh, that's just so below. It's not even like... Right. No. I mean, it's all it could be. It's all it could be. It's, yeah, with those, with those cream cakes and uh, all these... Uh, all, uh, all, uh, that's not the same as salad. Like right. Oh, well, yeah, all the things that the Fegelach eat. Right? All this. Right? Fegelach. Uh, <laughs> right. 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 The Yavonim wanted their Kalim to be everything. Right, and that's saying that you know they broke into the base on which is a mo- which is where Or meets Kli, and they, they broke in over there and they took their stuff there. The, you don't need the Or. The Kalim are good enough. Right? Mm. But that's all there is. You know, all the sciences, all the mathematics, these are just kalim. These are instruments to use. It not, and, it may, and it does fall short of capturing reality because reality is bigger than the kalim. Right? You, know, just, you, know, you just have to know the kli and know its midas, what exactly, you know, you know, what exactly could fit in and what's beyond it. Right? Don't try to put a square well, peg in a round hole. Well, it's functions, and, that, and that's what it is. Right? You, you know, you have to, when you're masbir, right, you have to know that, you know, that, you know, you know if the, you have to know if the Hezbollah really encompasses the concept or if the concept is bigger than the Hezbollah. That's why in Chochmas Kabbalah, there's a big machlokas where we should say Hezbollah in the Israelis. And not a lot of people, you know, particularly Alon, Sfaradim, you know, they're, they're, they don't like, they don't like Hezbollah in Kabbalah. They, the the no, position is that, that the, that the Hezbollah reduces because the, the concept is bigger than the Hezbollah. They don't explain anything. Right. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Look at somebody who reads Rabbi Akiva. Yeah, yeah. Maybe no, 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 of putting the or into Kalim. The Rebosh didn't want to leave the Torah in Shemayim. He wanted to put it in the Oretz. Mm. So we got to put the or in Kalim, but we have to know the balance of when the Kli is big enough to hold the or or not. Right? And never never do the reverse, that think that the Kli is everything and that the Kli should obscure the or. Right? And that's why Choshech Su Yavan, because they, they wanted their Kalim Right, their kalim should be everything, and they op- and they had the, they developed this kalim, but the kalim should be ikr, right, and it obscures the or. So it's a dover nifla. We say we noiser kankanim, nasa nesal shoshanim. So the Gemara says that we're made at a Talmud that could be metair as the sheretz bekuf nun tamim. He could come up with 150 tamim kan, right, to be metair as a right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want, even though the Torah says Mufurish, right? Sheretz says Tommy, right? But if you want to work with Svara alone, narrative wow. alone, here's Kufnun Tommy. Now, if you can have your know, Kufnun Tommy Litaher, so you have Kufnun Litame, but they're all equally Sheker, because this is why Sheretz is Tommy, because the Torah said so, right? And that's Kan Kan, the Kli, the Kan Kan. Kufnun, right? Kufnun. Kufnun. That's right, Kan Kan. Whoa. 
right? And then Tzur Chazal say, Al Tistakel Bakankan El Masha Betocho, right? It's just a kli. It's just a kli. He might have a kli chorish that it's mole yoshan and have a kli, right? But you know, the Yavon, they're into the Khan. Right? I, I won't say because this, this is going to go online. So right. you, you show. No, no, no. But the we'll uh, I, I won't say the name. I won't say the name. You can pause it if you want. No, it's, I won't say. <laughs> yeah, no, like li listen, but he, no, hear the voice. No, this, just to, to illustrate this, there was a famous Rosh Hashiva from the previous generation, quite a uh, eccentric figure. Uh, you guys know who he is. But I'm not going to say his name. Right, so when he was a bochor in Slabodka, you know, he uh, he had his eyes on a yeah. certain girl, right, mm -hmm. who did not want him. She and yet she married a different Roshiva, another another god of the door. Anyway, so he, you know, he wanted to win her over, and he wanted to impress her, and he said, you know, ask me any question, anything, and I'll give you twelve answers. Twelve. She said, if you could give me twelve answers, who I did not, you could give me twenty-four, and they're uh. all sheker. <laughs> Right? Mm -hmm. right. Right? Did she marry him? This one? No, she married the other guy. Right. Anyway. The other one could ask give thirteen answers. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, but the point is, you know, the uh you know, you know Svara, right, and and Harifas is a kli. It's just a kli. You know, and you, and you could say what? <laughs> There's only one MS. There's only one or, you know, and then Svar is sort of Kli, right? But, you know, when, when you get Kalim, you know, so, you know, to, to maybe to illustrate this yesod, a friend told me that he knew someone that used to win, you know, every single competition to write a good Chiddush, right? Because he had a, he had a method, get yeah, method, Kli. He had a method, and all the judges used to fall for the trick. It was a method, right? So like this, he would ask, right, 500 kashas, Five hundred cautious, right? Create five, and invent one yesod that had no basis, not in Torah, not in not a medrash, not, a, not even in Svar Yishara. But if it's true, it answers all five hundred cautious. Right? Right? Right. If if it's true, it answers all five hundred cautious. So of course it's very impressive. He won. Right, mm. right. Why, why did the judges fall for it? Because that's the way the human mind works in its limited way. Mm. Right. You see, you used to have five hundred things schwer. Right. Now you have only one thing schwer. The etzim vort. Right. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. So you're up by four ninety nine. Right. <laughs> right. But you're in sheker gomer. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. So the way the mind works, that, that's you know kankanim. Right. Kankanim kufnun tam All right. So I I, you know, I only have one thing schwer. The thing itself, right? The thing itself, right? All right. You know, and that's that's when the or is goiver over the kli. You know, the kan kan, the kan kan. You know, the kufnun tam in this way, kufnun tam in that way. The kan kan right, is goiver on the kli, right? The kli is goiver on the, the or. I mean, right? The, 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 the kli is goiver on the or, right? And that's the problem, right? Right? You know, that's the problem, right? Right? You know, so now the Yavonim with their Kalim, right? You know, they broke in, you know, and, you know, and, uh, and their Metame called Shmanim, Shmanim is Kenegat Chochma, Kayedua, right? But there's one they couldn't <laughs> reach, right? There was this one with Chumunach V'chosam al Shokoin Gadol. Chumunach V'chosam, you know, it's, we have to say why Munach, any coin, any Chosam, you know, Badatz, you know, you know, it's sealed, you know, they can't be Metame, you know. Munach V'chosam al Shokoin Gadol. That it just came out of nowhere, like all those Biden ballots, right? Right. <laughs> 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 right. Right. Thank you, right. There's Biden. I don't want to, you know. Right. Yeah. yeah. What's the shot? What's the shot? Right. So the idea is like this: that the uh, right. Like I said, you know, they they wanted their Kalim to be everything. Right, there should be no or, and that's it. And but without the or, there's no achdus, and that's the secret also. That you know, in in the seven bad cows, there's no achdus, and the seven bad corners. Besod as it's yispardu kol pole oven, right? All the evil doers. There's no achdus. There's nothing to hold them there. There's no shame shamayim, which is the essence, the zach itself, right? Right. So now, but it was munach. This 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 pach shemen was keneged. You know, was munach b'chosan shakoin gadol. <laughs> Where does the coin bottle go? He goes into the Kodesh HaKadosh. Right? 
which are, you voted for some reason they didn't, you know, they were metame sahecho. They never made it to the Kosh Kosh, which is very interesting, right? <laughs> and the Maral discusses, you know, they've got Yava Hecho's Gematra 65, Yava 66, so metame de Hecho. But they didn't get to the Kosh Kosh, and Kohen is Gematria 75, which is Hecho plus 10. Yud is Kenegi Kedusha. That this is all the Maral, that the secret Kedusha of the of the of the Kosh Kosh bleeds out. And the coins be able to be more the kedusha of the kosher. What's the kosher kedusha, right? So over there, you know that it, over there, there's you know there's even shesia shemisham hushasa olam. That's the etzem nekud of reality, where reality starts from. You get back to that shorish, and that's that's called Hashem's place, and that's hidden, and only the coin gadol could go in there on on, and even coin gadol even on yom, just on yom kippur, where you know that shorish is nizgale, right? Right? And yeah, we all go back to our Shorish on Yom Kippur. We all get, you know, we all do tshuva and we go back to our roots. Right? Right? And the Kohen Godot goes in there. Right? So there's Munach Bechot, some of the Kohen Godot could go to the Kodesh HaKadosh, which you want to read. Because the, the Kodesh HaKadosh is that hidden root. The hidden root. The ore. The ore that the clay HaMikdash, that, you know, were just Kalim to be Makabal, that ore. Right? You know, and the one that's closest to the Kosh Kosh is the menorah, right? It's Makabo that ore. It's Makabo, and, and menorah shines with that ore that's Makabo from the Kosh Kosh. So, state, Bezois Yavo Aron El The word Zois means the thing, the thing itself. Getting to the essence, getting to the ore that's meant to be in the Slavish and the Kli. Right? Yeah, you're right. Oh, very good. Right? So now, now we begin to go full circle. Right? The Zeus, right? The Nakud of Essence. And the Nakud of Essence, you know, it's not the challenge. You have the thing and, and you have its essence. It's not, it's not, it's not the, you know, the essence is mit pashet throughout everything of it, right? The essence is not another aspect. It is what's this pashet throughout the whole thing. It's like the neshama that spreads throughout the whole guf, right? So, and, you know, and that's marumas in the menorah. It was seven branches, but it was miksha achas. Miksha achas, right? Right, it was one solid piece of gold, right? And you know, the miksha achas, and that's the, what's moon mm-hmm. is this week's parsha, the kona echod, of the seven good ones, the seven good ones, the batirena ba'ahu, of the seven good cows, right? That's the essence that's mispashed evenly, besod elu veil divokim the essence that's mispashed, the ore that's mispashed evenly throughout all the kalim that are connected to it, not the kalim that obscure it. Right or come to contradict it, right? Right. It's mispashti or it's mispashet evenly. Right. You have the gili of the zos, the essence, right? The shame, the shame shemaim that holds the whole knisia together. The shame shemaim that holds the machlokas that sopolis kain, right? So that shame, right, right. That's hamokam asher yivcha Hashem l'shakein shmo sham l'shakein shmo sham. The, sh- the shmo is in the kodesh hakadoshim. And that Kedusha spreads throughout the Kalim of the Hechel and then further through the Kalim of the Azora. Right? And that, that's Zos. When you come to the Nakud of Zos, everything's Ba'achtos. You see the essence that's Kulam Shavu Latoiva. Kulam Shavu Latoiva. And when you reach the essence, right, there are no more Kashas. Right? So this is Dover Nifle to his Bonin. Right? M- you know, Miksha Tases Hamenorah. Chazal say on this in a few places that Moshe was niskasha b'maisa menorah. He didn't know how to do it. He didn't know how to do it, right? Right. So but because miksha was kosher, miksha. Now miksha literally means miksha literally means you know that it's one from one solid piece of gold. But it's not a, it's, it's the pshat and the and the drush are not in contrast. It's really, the drush is explaining the pshat, right? Because the how everything is like from one solid piece of gold, one shirish, right? That's where all the kashas come from. Because you can't see the shirish, all the kash yudia versus bechira, hashgacha pratis versus bechira, oh, wow. right? Right? All, all the <laughs> right. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Right? I didn't say it. Oh my goodness! Wow. Right? All, all the kashas oh. is because the shirish wow. is hidden. You see the separate branches. You see. The, you see, no, no, hey, well, no, no, everything all says is correct. There's nothing wrong, you know, so no, nothing wrong, nothing wrong. Yeah, he, he just needs it to be that way. Just... <laughs> no, 
Because when yeah. you don't see the shurish, oh. right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you see separate branches. Uh, this one's in this area. You don't see the common shurish. The, but that's what a mixture. Moshe Beiru, the, the kasha, the, the mixture of the... Right, the day of the mixture of the menorah, that everything, all the seven branches come from one shurish, seven separate branches come from one shurish, right? Right, right, that, that's, that's, that's beside all the kashas there are, Yediyah versus Bechira, Hashgach and Pratis versus Bechira, right? You know, because you, know, you, you don't see the shurish, so you see these branches going in separate directions. And also, also, our Hezbeirim are, are, are Kalim. And maybe we're not being Masbir Bechira correctly. Maybe we're not being Masbir Ashgacha Prophets correctly. And that's why we see a stira, right? right? When you see the Shirish, right? When you see the Shirish, so now obviously you're going to realign your Hezber, right? To fit after, you know, no one would have thought quantum physics is logical. Once we see it, we have to now re, yeah, right? Uh, we're forced to uh, realign, right? But of course, we, we, we seek that out, and we when we're open to realigning and reevaluating and right and uh, and improving ourselves, right, all right. And so that's that's that's, that's the side. Miksha tasis menorah moshe is this kasha menorah because the, the mixture of the menorah is connected all the kashas that there are. Well, the same steers that we just can't get out because the the kalim of the human mind are not big enough to hold the entirety of the ore, right. And so we have, you know, you don't see the shorish, you just see, uh, so you have this concept branches into this, clearly this concept, and it seems that the concepts are irreconcilable, right? Oh. So, right? That's right. So the, uh, that's the mixture tasses on the right? Right? <laughs> what the hell was that? The what roots, is, the caps, the roots, the fingers. What are you doing? The roots. You don't know where it's coming from. You're trying to help him? I'm trying to give him the fingers. By the way, I know the whole thing. Bad, bad, like, bad, bad. Like, I thought you were calling time now. What are you doing? I like the sun. Right. It's the sun. No deal. Right. That's all. You just killed all the <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so, so now here, here's the thing. You know, you know, the we need the kalim, otherwise our whole mitzias is bottle. You know, the Rebbe gave us a guf to hold the or of the neshama. And we have to build the base of the earth. We have to cobble the or of the That's our whole avoda of tikkun olam. Did I say it right? Right. Awesome. <laughs> right. Awesome. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, so so you know we, we need the or the kli. We need the Chanukah, the chinuch of putting or in the kalim. The Yavonim want the kli without the or. You know, that we've got the method. We got the method, you know, and, and the method should be everything. You know, it's not called even what even what they did right, even what they did right is sacha kol a kli. It's not the or itself, right? And that's seeing that there were gozer on Shabbos, right? And there were gozer on Mila, and there were gozer on Chodesh. So now on. Amazing on on the words bezois yavo aron al kodesh says the medrash rabba bezois bezchus right hamila shnei kray zois you know by zos brisi right 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 and bezchus hashabbos shnei kray zois right he you know that because it says uh, uh, you know because the navi calls you in the what in the after we don't tell us before right so so you know. Right, he, you know, it says we say bezos when in connection to the pasuk it says Shabbos, right? So it's, Shabbos is called Zeis, right? Right, Mila is called Zeis, right? You know, the so now even though Kiddush Achorish is, but and Torah is also called Zeis, right? Zos Hatera, right? Right, that all these things are called Zeis, right? And and that bezos Yavo Aaron El Hakodesh, right? There were guys on all these things that are called Zeis. Right? The guys on all these things that are called zois, right? Because they weren't moida in the essence that's supposed to go into the kalim. They wanted their kalim to be everything, right? Well, with that, you know, there's no, there's no achdus. You know, what what holds them all together? Mm. Just hatred of Trump, right? That's not, you know, <laughs> that's not going to last. That's not going to last, right? Right? Yeah, you know, there's there's no ore that holds all those kalim together, right? They wanted the clean beauty and they denied the zois, the essence. That's where the guys are on Shabbos. The guys are on Mila, right? So now, so now Chodesh is a little bit different, right? And, and you know, and that's that, that, you know, that if the Kli is everything, so, you know, where does the newness come from? Where does the newness come from, right? 
the newness is a there's a new gili of the ore that adds new energy, right? But they're not moida in the ore. So now Kiddush Achodesh, right, is all about there were Makadash of the moon, right? That lights up the darkness of night. It changes the cosmic balance. It turns dark into light. Right? It's Kiddush Achodesh, and that's why it's called Kiddush Miloshim Chadash. Ein Chodesh Tachas Hashemesh, right? Right? But the moon, right, Kiddush HaChodesh is that it's supposed to, it, it, it's the, it brings light into darkness. The moon lights up the night. Uh-huh. It's light, that's putting ore into Caleb. They want the Choshech Zuyavan. Choshech Zuyavan, they want the cleave that obscures the ore to be everything. Right? Kiddush HaChodesh is put ore into the darkness of the cleave. Right? It says Dover Nifla. Right? That, you know, the you know, Rosh Chodesh Tevis always comes out during Hanukkah. Right? So if someone said that the Chiddush Rebbe says to Tevis Milashen Hatovas Hasaneros Hatovas Hasaneros, right to set up the candles, right? But the Sefer Yitzira says, right on on the. Uh, Listen, don't know. This is like. That's what I thought. <laughs> The Sefer Yitzir says on the month of Tevis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't ignore the Hesper. Whatever the Hesper is, yeah. ignore that. We don't need the Hesper. We don't need it. We're just quoting right? Tevis here. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that on the month of uh, Himlich Os Ayin Beroiges. Right? That what reigns in the letter, you know, in the month of Tevis is the letter Ayin with tension. Tension. Where does the tension come? Lolam Yargiz Adam Yetzer Tov Yetzerah. Right? That's the tension between the good and the evil. Right now, os ayin niflamot os ayin. So far, as far as that it alludes to the shivim umos olam, right? But, but, but you know, it says, but you know, it says, vashel Hashem, you know, came the kosnos or made investments of of or ayin, you know, investments of leather. The safer tosh rabbi meir matzu kosuv kosnos or with an aleph, kosnos or with an aleph, right? Because that you know that that you know that that represents where Rimeir was talking about want to drop a rem as to what Adam was before the chet. I suppose mm-hmm. right? before before the chet, you know the the body was kosnos or vestments of light, and went from vestments of light to vestments of skin. So it explains Rav Isaac Hover, right? That you know the that the uh, you know uh, if if Adam Rishon wouldn't have sinned, there have only been one people. Me kamchso goy echad baritz. Because there have only been one, there have been the Or HaTorah, and there have only been one nation, right? When we went from Or with an Aleph wow. to oh. Or with skin, with an Ayin, that's when we went from one nation to 70 nations, wow. right? The skin, because the skin covers up the Or. And we have to now do the Os Ayin Barogas. We have the Or skin. We have to, now we have the tension between the Kli and the Or. Uh, originally, 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 before the Chet, you know, the body itself was light, so there was no conflict between the Neshama and the Guf. So there was like, you know, this so it was Mamish a Kli that would be like a viewing glass to see the full aura of the Neshama. Now it's vestments of skin. You have the tension that you have a Kli that could obscure the aura, and that's the whole tension, the Rogas, right? To get the Neshama, right, to, you know, fight, overcome, and shine through and ultimately elevate the aura to become ore, to elevate the skin, to become light, right? They just want the ore, they just want the skin, right? They didn't want the ore with an aleph, right? But we want, you know, we, we want the clear of the goof, that the goof should become a viewing glass to look into the neshama. That's what it says, you know, come and do it in the, the Sefer Atanya, right? The arm was made offer min adama, right? What, what do you make out of offer? Glass. Glass. As well, what's, what's glass in Lashkar? Zechuchis, zach. When you're mezakech, the guf, it's a viewing glass that fakir, it gives you a cleat, <coughs> like a viewing glass, like a telescope. Mm. A, a glass to see Stand the neshama, give you an achiza, right? That's what the guf is supposed to be. A kli to see the or. A kli to see the or. That the neshama be nizgale through the guf. Full right? But I promise, full transparency, like what Election. we need. Like we need right? yeah. Full transparency, right? right? The... Right, right. Full transparency. Right. The um, right, but you know, but the thing is, you know, you know the uh, yeah, and, and that's what kiddush Levana is. Kiddush Levana is that we want the ore to pierce the darkness, which is the, the darkness of the caliph. Right. But now bris mila, right, <clears throat> removing the orla is to be megala the shorish. That's why mila is on the eighth day. The eighth day is connected to the shorish. There's the seven of the seven days a week. The Shivim Umos, all the branches are seven. 
Shiva Kanea Menorah, right? The Milas Keneged the Shorish, that shines through. Right? And that's why Milas Be'etzim connected the idea of eight. And that's why Chazal Darshan, Lamatech Hashmi. So, Rafua. Now, what's Rafua? Now, why is it, you know, why is it that Rafua, you know, so it's the Brocha Shmini, Kenega Mila, because you need Rafua for Mila. But what's Rafua? It's to go back to the Shorish. You regenerate. If there wouldn't be a Shorish, things wouldn't regenerate. How do things heal? So, it's a Shorish that you could be Yonik from, you know, to rebuild whatever was lost, right? And that scene of Mizmor Shir Chanukah Sabais. Right. Said the, the one. That's right. Okay. Ooh. Very Ooh. good. Right. Sorry. No, no, no. That's no, no. That's no. It's fine. That's, that's, that's exactly where we want to go. Right. No. In Mil on the eighth day. On the eighth day, the Shurish is revealed. It's not seven plus one. It's seven branches, and then the Shurish is revealed. You, on the eighth day, you take away the Orla, which was covering over the Shurish. Yeah. But it's it's connected to Shorish. That's why in Dara Melch, right? Dara Melch, listen, no, listen, listen, no, no, here, here, listen. Dara Melch was in that very famous same Gemara. He was in the Merchatz. He was a free. Oh, he felt bad. He was without mitzvahs. So I saw. So he very niskar b'mila. Why I said the mila, you know, that was done seventy years earlier, right? Why he just you know be niskar by the the the, the, the tefillin he just took off before he went into the mikvah, right? Why niskar b'mila? No. Because all the other mitzvahs are branches. The mila is a shurish. It's a shurish that I'm never detached. Right? If you just look at the mitzvahs, well, I'm not doing that mitzvah anymore. The mila is a shurish. And that's why it's interesting Sorry. halacha. It's interesting. There's a very interesting halacha in Hilchos Nadarim. A person says he is mudar hanor from all muhulim. He's also an all Jews, even a Jew that didn't do bris mila. And he's mutter in all goyim. And hafuch, if he says he's mudar hanor from all arelim, He's also on all goyim, even like Muslims that do uh, a circumcision. And he's mutter on all Yisraelim. Right? That doesn't have to do so much with the actual procedure, because if it's mesu echov machmas mila, right? Right, so he can't do bris mila, because we're afraid it'll kill him, just like he killed his brothers. Right? He's still called a mohul in hilchos nedarim, right? Because mila is also not just the mitzvah of taking off the foreskin, right? It's a shurish. It's a shurish. It's a shurish. It's like Shabbos. Shabbos goes back to the original source of Kedusha. He's Makihi Makara Brachi. Go back to the source. Right? That's Shabbos. That's Mila. You know, Kiddush HaKadosh is to bring the ore into Kalim. To bring the ore into Kalim. Right? I mean, may we get back to it. This is Nes Pach Hashem. Right? So that, that Pach, that Pach, that Pach was Munach Bechosor Shekohen Goro. They didn't see it like all those Biden ballots. They didn't see where it came from, where it was going. Right? Because it was Murat Bechol Son Hashem Kohen Goro, it was connected to the Shorish, the Shorish Hanelam that they can't see, because they only see the Kalim without the Or, right, right. But it was Neis Pach Hashem, that that Pach, right, right, which is the Kli, it held eight days worth of oil, despite the, and that's the godless of Torah Shabbal Peh. That even though we use our own Svar working with our Kalim Sichliim, right. We're, and, and we're so limited, we're still not wrong. There's a Medrash Barba in Parshas Baaloischa, and Baaloischa Saneros. The Akhoshko asked us to light the menorah for him. All right, so the, uh, so the Medrash asked, you know, so the Medrash asked the Kash like this. Right, right, right. Chul Or, Utsarech, you know, Rebarsh is the Makar of Chul Or. And the Medrash gives the following, following Moshul, right? That a sighted man was leading a blind man all around, and then they find he leads the guy into his house, and he says, now you light a candle for me. Here's, you know, here, you know, he puts in one hand the match, one hand candle. Here, you light the candle for me. So what do you mean? You, you're my eyes. Shalom right? tachzik litova. Right? I don't, I, don't want you to feel, I don't want you to feel like a mentor also. You're giving light to the guy who's your sighted man. So, it's, so that's what mentioned. That's the mitzvah of ner Hanukkah. A mitzvah of, you know, ner samarocha in general. Ner that we're the blind person making light for the sighted man. We're making light that we ourselves can't see. That's Nes Pach Hashem. Our limited Kalim can hold Or Elokus. Or Elokus, even though, you know, seemingly Allah Gavan, how could we? Our Kalim are so limited. That's Nes Pach Hashem. That one Kli that seemingly could only hold one day, Betzim, they keep on pulling out of that Pach for eight days. One Pach that only seemingly, the Mida can only hold one day, held eight days. That's that's Torah Shabbal Peh. That's in our seichel with all its limitation. We're holding the oral kus. That's mispashe b'li ah. self. 
And eight, eight, it goes up to the shurish, not just eh, our interpretation or our view and our, you know, what it means to me. You know, that's, that's, <laughs> my, my, my truth. My truth. My truth. My truth. Right. My truth. Oh, gosh. right, it goes up to the shurish of what Akarj Baruchu wants. And, and it's bigger than us. It's like we're the blind man lighting this light that's even bigger than what we could see and it's still in our kalim. Right, that's Chanukah. The or is in our kalim, but it's the or of Elokus, the or of the Shurish. The or of the Shurish Hain Sof is still in us, right? Right. And on this eighth day, that yo, know, that yo, know, there's two ways to see the Shurish. There's two ways to see the Shurish, right? One, first of all, when you put every single piece of the puzzle there, then already once the circuit is closed, you're forced to be omit on the Shurish because you can't speculate outside because you closed the circuit. That's when every piece of the puzzle is there. And that's base hello, all the eighth day. So on the eighth day, the Shorosh is Nizgala, like on the eighth day, you know, Mila, the Shorosh is Nizgala, right? The Koach of the Shorosh comes out. But according to Beis Shammai, right? right? On the eighth day, you're lighting just one candle. You've whittled it down to the Shorosh because Kaido Beis Shammai is Din, right? You know, and the, you know, and they're, you know, so it's chesed, so chesed, you know, expands until you have the whole picture, and then you're omen on shorsh, because you can't go wrong anymore, because you close the circuit, right? You finish the puzzle. So you see the achtus, that's the spashe, right? But Beishamai burns away through all the seven shkorim, the DNC, Antifa, <laughs> BLM, <laughs> social justice, How socialism, you, climate change, and China. Right? <laughs> right? And after it burnt away, right? You're left, right? You're left. Right? right? You're left with the. Is that socialism? Right? So you see, only you burnt away through all the shkarim. You're left with the. You know, so that's why the eighth day and the one. And you know, so eight candles. And one candle is Elu Veil Divel Kim Chaim. Did you get to the Shorosh by completing the puzzle? So, Mimel, you see the show after there's no room to speculate wrong, right? Everything you close the circuit, so you're all made, you know, the, the undeniable truth of the Shorosh that's this God when you see the whole, right? Or, or you just burn away at all the Shkorim until you're left. You whittle it down to the Echod, the Echod, the Nekuda called Bezois, Bezois, right? And that's in the bizarre is also Hanukkah Samis Bech. We have a you add up. You're omit on the Shorish that's common to all. It's not just time to do addition. Right? You're omit on the Shorish that each Nasi brought it with his own Kavana. Because I feel Av, you know, Ubino. Harav Tamido Nasim Oivim Zelazeh. Each one, you know, because the Torah is manifesto in, the, in his Kalim. The Torah comes out, looks different. Lafi the Kli, Lafi the shape and the, and the Tseva of the Kli. But Enam Zosham Achnasim Ovim Zelzed, and ultimately the Shurish, you know, comes out and they become Ovim Zelzed, even though each one, because each one is bringing out a different function, a different function of the Elu Veil Divrel Kim Chaim. And Roshiva used to give a marshal for this. X squared is equal to four. Right? No, it's one I, equation. I, X squared is equal to four. This, this, this is basic algebra. X squared is equal to four. No, two. 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 Only two? Negative two. Negative two times negative two is equal to four. All one equation. Wow. And this one's two, this one's negative two. Wow. It's like half of it right. You were just like, duh. <laughs> 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 right, but then the shirt comes out. Yeah, the same all being I don't even know what algebra right. is. <laughs> right. 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 The, the Shorosh is in this gala, and the Achtos comes out. And we made so aside from what we said earlier, we, an, we answered the Beis Yosef's Kasha, right? You know, that because this, every single day is nice, because one pach hold eight days worth. So every, obviously, equally in this, you know, one pach, and that's connected us, our kin, pach, munach, because Gado, that the gift of Tarsh Pez, we have oral kus inside our kalim. It's much bigger than us, but, and still, if, if we're Macham Lashem Shemayim, you know, to do what's right, you know, you know, to do what's right, and we have been lured so no, and not social justice, right? Then, you know, then, then it'll be tikkun olam, right? 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 You know, so we have, you know, you have the nes pachshem, but there's another thing. Who says teva and nes are, are a stira? 
Right? So we know seven is. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry, I didn't realize I said that. Right? Actually, right? you have somebody here who would say that. Seven days. Right? Right? right, so kind of. Right? I no. apologize for dealing with children. <laughs> So Teva is the seven Kayadua. But the eighth, which is Lamala Mina Teva, nice. right? Is nice, right? Nisan. So who so says the two are stira? You know, that you know you, you think of a stira because you, you you don't see that one is the shorish of the other. In the totem pole of reality, Ruchnius, you know, makes Gashmius. So where does Teva come from? Lamala Mina Teva. And this Deleshem says, why is Teva so strong? It says, oh, the nature is everything. How could there be miracles? You see, the laws of nature are so strong. Says Deleshem. Why do you think nature is so strong? Where does it get all that koch from? Because Teva is yonic from Nisan. In the Torah and of reality, there's Lamal Mena Teva, then there's Teva. Hmm. Lamal Mena Teva is Nisan. You know why Teva is so strong? Because it's yonic from Nisan. Right? And a nace is when the shurish is in this dollar. Right? But Teva is so strong, right? Because it's Yonik from Nisim. It's only Mitzah that we're Mazbir, that the, the Chisoros Mitzah, our Hezber, of how we're Mazbir Teva, Mazbir Nes, right? But, you know, in the Hezber, the Kli of Hezber is limited. Like the Kli of Hezber, you know, you know Ashgokha Protest versus Bechira, Yedia versus Bechira, right? You know, the K, right? Right? All the steers, that's the Miksha Tase Samenara, Miksha. That's all the Kashas, because we can't see. The Sherish, the Miksha, that's all Miksha Achas, right? So he made a, another, another answer to the base Yesus Kasha. One day wasn't a Ness. No, but on this eighth day of Hanukkah, right, which is, you know, we realize that there's no steer between Teva and Nisim. Everything's equally from Nisim, right? right? Because the Teva gets its cock from Nisim. The Teva, Lamata, gets its cock from Lamata. Also, that Nisim. That's why Teva, that's why the laws of physics are so strong, right? They're Yonik from Nisim, right? Then he said, the Malam and Teva is the Shorosh of Teva, right? And on this eighth day, we realize that we get to the Miksha Ta'ase Samenura. We break through to the eighth. The eighth is the Achtus that's Mispashe in the whole seven. L'cham! 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 L'cham!